Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Off-Road Hub. My name is Ken, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today I'm gonna take another step in the long process of solid axle swapping my 2010 Toyota FJ Cruiser. By reinforcing uh, this part of the frame up front here, and see we're under the front fender, I've gotta clean all this off so it's perfect and shiny, and do the same thing on this side. Got to get that all cleaned up. And then I'm going to cut some reinforcement braces out of this 3 16th steel plate and then get them welded onto the frame, which is going to add a lot of strength. We're going to add a, a shock tower here. And on the other side will be a shock tower and a pan hard bar bracket. So that'll help with this uh, relatively, oh, there goes that. That'll help with uh, reinforce this relatively thin uh, metal that makes up the frame. If you ever get into solid axle swapping uh, your vehicle, you're going to become very familiar with flap discs. They go on the grinder. I'm probably going to go through uh, maybe this many today, we'll see. <laughs> and uh, they're not especially cheap, but uh, most of these are from Benchmark Abrasives. They seem to have the best price and pretty good quality. And a few of these, the ones that look red are from Harbor Freight. But uh, yeah, we'll probably burn through most of these. I'll try to save some of them just by using cutting discs on uh, on these, or maybe the Sawzall, I don't know yet, and we'll see, just cutting off these bigger chunks. All right, so I got the major pieces of metal cut out. So basically I'm just left with welds to grind down now, which is much better than what I was starting with, which was uh, big chunks of metal welded on here. So that's all gone. So that should, that should save my flap discs some. Okay, here it is. It's pretty clean. I'm gonna stop grinding it for now. I may come back and do some more in a little bit. Um, this is an uneven surface, so like right here this is stamped, so this is raised over this. And so there's a weld down here, so I don't know how much I want to totally smooth out the welds because then it won't be even, and like there's a weld here where this is stamped and sticks out. So I'm not sure that I want to weld this smooth because then this, this whole, I don't know, half, three quarters of an inch of the frame will be much lower than this part. So uh, after I get the braces cut out, I'll see how they fit and then reassess my grinding. There's all the steel that came off of that side. Well, plus all that dust. <laughs> On the driver's side, I'm gonna pause my grinding here. So I know a guy who's got a plasma table. That's a plasma cutter that's robotically controlled on a table. It cuts a lot more precisely than I think probably almost anybody can by hand, certainly me. And so I'm gonna take this cardboard right here and try to make some patterns that I can take over to his house so that uh, I can get some nicely cut out frame braces. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, I cut out some cardboard and I've got a pattern. So now I'll just take this over, get it on the plasma table and get it cut out of 3 16th steel.
All right, guys, I got these frame braces cut out. That is pretty awesome. That uh, plasma cutting table is a pretty amazing machine. It's a lot of fun to watch. Uh, it's pretty incredible. It's a lot smoother than doing it by hand. And uh, yeah, you just kind of enter the shape into a computer on a grid and, and hit print. It's pretty awesome. So now I got to get these cleaned up and uh, make sure that they fit on the frame rails. Uh, all right, make sure I've got all the grinding I've done that I need to get done and uh, then we'll get them welded on So uh, after all that grinding there's always more grinding um, it looks pretty good in there. I've got it held in there, clamped in there. And so now I'm just going to tack it up. But uh, I think the fit looks great. So should be good to go. All right, this side is fit in and tacked up. So let's get the other side in. I was really getting tired of taking sparks to the face, so this is my new favorite tool. All right, so now that these are all tacked on, I'll get them welded on for real, but I'm gonna be really careful because I've had some bad luck warping steel with my welding. So I'm gonna take it really slow and uh, really only do one little spot at a time and kind of move around as I go. Um, the, uh, my guy <laughs> who I had cut these out for me um, he's a big fabricator guy. He works for a company that restores old power wagons and sells them for like a quarter to a half million dollars. And, uh, they're currently rebuilding power wagon or not. Those aren't power wagons, but they're building old buses for Glacier National Park. So he does a lot of fabrication. And he was telling me a story about a guy at their work who uh, did some welding and actually warped a frame, which I didn't even think was really quite possible. So that kind of uh, scared me a little bit, so I'm going to be really, really careful with the heat on these. Well, I, uh, I got about 75% of this welding done on these plates. Um, taking it really super slow and letting all the heat dissipate so that I don't warp my frame because that would be extremely terrible and I don't want to do that. So um, again, these are uh, to reinforce the frame so that I can weld on my pan hard bar and my shock uh, towers and the the frame will be able to hold those things because you know they weren't originally on the frame and the frame is actually fairly thin metal uh, so these reinforcement plates um, will help a lot with that um, getting them cut out wasn't very difficult because of my buddy over there with the plasma cutting table that is an amazing tool and uh, pretty fun to use actually so I uh, hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already so I can share new content with you every Monday and Thursday. And we'll see you next time.